Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. I love looking out the window and feeling the fresh air. Ah, I'm going to paint what I see right outside my window. I have my materials here. I have my primary colors, blue, red, and yellow. And then I have black and white. My paper or canvas. Paper towel, a cup with water, and a brush, two brushes. A flat brush and a round brush. And I also have a pencil. Let's get started. I have my paper horizontally and right now I'm just going to kind of in the middle of the canvas I'm going to just make a, a wavy line it doesn't have to be straight and I will make probably another wavy line here that's it maybe another one one more going this way just some wavy lines and now let me grab my grab your flat brush the biggest brush you have and let's get started oh I had some blue on my brush I'm gonna get some blue and I'm gonna start all the way up top going side to side painting my blue sky this goes side to side Get some white and start painting with light blue now. Go side to side. And as you go down, get some just, just, just plain white. And your brush is going to have some blue anyway, and you just keep bringing it down. Just white. Bring it all the way down to that first line that you made, that wavy line. If you need to add some water to your paint, you add some more, you grab the paint, the water, put it inside your palette. And then, so just make your sky first going side to side. So it's going from blue to light blue to even lighter blue. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to make green. So blue and yellow mix together, make green. We're gonna, let's make enough green because we're going to need a lot of it. Very good. I'm going to start with a lighter version of green. So I'm going to add more yellow to, and a little bit of white. Just to half of that green. So that way you have a lighter green on one side and then a darker green on the other side here, side by side. So I'm going to have a lighter green with more yellow and white and then I left a little side here with the dark, dark green. Now start going all the way in the back following that wavy line that you drew. Just keep going side to side. Add some yellow, just plain yellow as well. So you're just going to blend on the canvas, on the paper. Add some yellow to it. Just keep going side to side. Make some strokes. Just keep going side to side. And now there's another wavy line here. I'm just going to get a little bit of a darker green now coming on this side. See we made a wavy line there and now this wavy line is going to be a little bit of a darker green. Just a subtle 
change. Still keep going side to side. And then there's another wavy line here that I made. I'm going to make it even darker green. Even darker green. It's just a subtle change. It's not too much darker, but you can see it when they're next to each other. They're like little grass hills. And bring it all the way down to the bottom of your canvas. Very good. Okay, here it is. Now, all I'm going to do, you don't have to clean your brush too much, just taking some of that paint off. I'm going to get some yellow and white again. It's mostly yellow and white, just a touch of green, but mostly yellow and white. And I'm going to just dab, dab, just to create texture. I'm doing on the, in the middle one and the back one too, a little bit, but just add a little bit of texture here and there so it looks like grass. I'm dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. I'm going to make it even lighter, white and yellow. And I'll dab here. If you have a rough brush, it's hard to do it with a flat brush, but if you have like, you know, a round brush that is a little bigger and, and rougher, it doesn't have much of a point, it would be perfect for things like this. But I'm trying to simplify our mater materials and I'm not asking for too much, so that way everybody can do this. So you see how I'm kind of dabbing and it's kind of a dry brush. It's not too much paint. Just want to add texture. So don't use too much paint. Just dab over it and it's going to look like it has some texture because grass has texture, right? Okay. Maybe now I'm going to change my brush and I'll get the, the round brush and I'll get some red and white. But now I'm going to add a little bit of flowers here and there, but very tiny. Don't press your brush too much. Make little mosquito size, little fly size flowers. If you're far away, you can't see them too much. So they can be red, pink orange make them in the distance too when they're far away as you go back they need to be smaller and smaller you won't be able to see them as much they're going to be more of a blur because they're too far away but the ones closer to you here they can be a little bit bigger everything that's closer to you will look bigger because you can see it 
because it's closer. Whatever is far away, you can't see it. So it's going to be smaller. And that's what we call that's what we call perspective. That's what perspective is. So try to create perspective in your paintings so it can look more real. So a little bigger flowers here, so make your dots bigger when they are closer to you and then smaller and then even smaller. Okay? And I'm going to add some white little dots too. I'm going to have some white flowers. And you know what? Maybe even some yellow flowers. So feel the flowers. I think it will be nice. Flowers are nice. Not too much though, just enough. All right, I don't think I'm going to add any, any trees or anything like that because my focus right now is going to be on the window. So put your round brush in the cup and now let's grab that flat brush again. Now whatever the width of your brush Whatever it is, if it's wide, really wide, if it's narrow, doesn't matter. You're going to use the width of that brush to make your window. Now I'm gonna make it, make a, a wooden window. So I'm gonna get, actually, where am I going back? Now I'm gonna make brown. I'm gonna get red, blue, and yellow. Mix together, make brown. So make your brown color and now add a little bit of water to, to that, just a little bit, not much. And then now you're going to start one of the edges and you're just going to bring your brush all the way across. All the way across. Try to keep it straight as much as you can. You see? We'll do the same on top, all the way across. What's happening here is that I'm running out of brown, so I need to make more. Red yellow and blue okay I'm gonna finish this go all the way across can be tricky. Now we'll do the same for the sides. Start on the on the edge here and then keep going all the way down now. Try your best. And then we are going to do the same on the other side. Almost looks like a, a picture frame. <laughs> Make it as straight as you can, but if it's a little, 
curved, it's okay too. Because wood sometimes warps. <laughs> we can blame on that. Very nice. Now what we're going to do is get a little bit of black. You can use that brush. And we're going to now use the, the side of it. We're not gonna use the whole brush. We're gonna use just the side so we can make a straight line. And what we'll do is right here on the left side, right here on the corner here, on the side of it, on the edge, we're gonna make a line, a black line. And then get the black again, right on top, we'll do the same. Right on the, ed the edge of that brown, the brown, you're going to make a black line. See, connecting here, on the left side and on the top. Now clean it up. Clean up your brush, you're gonna probably have some brown. Add a little bit of white to the brown that you had. Yeah, actually, yeah, add some white. It's gonna, it's gonna be a light brown, and you're gonna go here on the right side. It's gonna be white here, and then on the bottom will be white because what we just did was, this is where the light is coming from here. So it's going to hit the window and create a highlight. And then here on this side is going to be the shadow. So now it just makes this window a little more three dimensional. Now what we're going to do is just add a little bit of a highlight to the window itself. So get some light brown, the same light brown that you just used. Maybe make it a little bit darker or you can just use the same, doesn't matter. And we're going to, I want to not to have any water, just the paint itself. We want to make, make some lines. Dry brush. Just do a dry brush right on top of it. And you're going to see, you're going to see some, you're going to see some gaps being formed. Now the window, the wooden window, has some little wood grains or it's a little bit worn out to look more like a wood. I, you know what, I think I want to bring a little this highlight a, again, so I'm going to go with the white here and white here, just plain white. Because when I did the wood grain, what happened is that it, I couldn't see it that well. There you go. Now I can. Now it stands out again. Very nice. Oh, it's a beautiful day outside. Now what we're going to do is I want to make sure that this is very dry. So it's got to be completely dry. So let's just wait a little while, okay? All right, I feel like it's nice and dry. I'm gonna grab my large brush, the round, uh, the flat brush. Make sure it's super clean, super clean. It doesn't have any brown, nothing. Okay, now what we're going to do is grab some white and a little bit of that water. I want it to be 
almost watery here, very, very diluted. And we're going to now make nice, beautiful curtains. I have some beautiful curtains and that's what we're gonna put in front. I'm gonna start over here and just make some lines like this. So my beautiful curtain. Make some curvy lines. And now because you added water, it's gonna be see-through. And because it's see-through, you'll still be able to see your beautiful scenery. You can add some white just to kind of highlight the front here. And then maybe another highlight here. But the rest needs to be nice and see-through. And make sure that you're, I hope that you're your your painting was dry because otherwise it's going to be smeared everywhere. I'm going to make another one here, but it's not going to be as big. So water and white. Little curve here. Now the wind is blowing the curtains. There you go. This is my window and it's a beautiful day outside. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you do. So how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dotty Show Facebook page so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge, on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.